Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to practically show you how to use one of the shortcuts of Eclipse IDE for adding return type of the methods as declaration of the variables. I'm going to take an example from Selenium for this purpose. So let's get started. I'll switch to Eclipse IDE. Here we have a sample project which is already configured with Selenium library. Here we have the Java class, demo class, user defined class. Inside that we have the main method. Inside the main method, I'm going to write some Selenium automation code like this. Web driver, driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Okay, I have to for the Mozon web driver and import this web driver interface from Selenium. For the Mozon Chrome driver and import this Chrome driver class from Selenium. Now I have to say driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. Then I'll say driver dot get command. This will maximize the browser and here get command will open the application URL. I want to open this uh, omai.blogspot.com application URL. I'll copy this URL and paste it here. Now, this is what you have to focus guys, okay? To understand what I'm trying to explain here, the Eclipse ID shortcut for adding return type of the method as declaration using Selenium. Okay, if you have to understand that, understand something that I'm going to cover here. Let's say I want to create a web element for this text area field. I want to create a web element for this text area field. So what I'll do is I'll say driver.find element. So which locator I have to use for finding this text area field, I'll inspect this text area field. When I inspect this text area field, the HTML code of the text area field is coming here. It has an ID. I'll copy this ID attribute value of this text area field. And here I'll write by dot ID, provide the ID attribute value of the text area field and put a semicolon here. Now, if I hover the mouse on find element, it is returning you. This particular is a method. Okay. As I told you here, the return type of the method here, what is the method in this context? Find element is a method. So what this method is returning, what this find element is returning, it's a it returning the object of web element interface. Okay. It is returning the object type of web element interface. So here I'll type the, I'll not give web element something guys. I don't have to type it actually. Okay. I'm going to show you one of the Eclipse ID shortcut, which will automatically add the return type of the method. What is the return type of the method? Web element. This web element will be automatically added here as a declaration of the variable guys. We don't have to type it. I don't have to type like this. Okay. I don't have to type. Uh, web element, web element, uh, what is that option? Text area field, right? Text area field. I don't have to type like this, guys, okay? This is not required. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you the shortcut of Eclipse ID to get that uh, variable and declaration. Okay, here I'll create the variable though. I'll say text area field, okay? The field is text area field element, you can say. If you want to give element as a word, text area field element. Now you see an error is coming here. In Eclipse ID, you'll get this error when you have not declared this uh, object type, which is returned by this find element, the return type web element should come as a declaration of this variable. So for that, I don't have to type it manually, guys. Hover the mouse on this, and this is a shortcut, guys. Okay, this is a shortcut for that. Hover the mouse and select the first option. Create local variable text area field element. You see automatically the return type of this find element that is web element got added here. Okay, so this is how it works, guys. This is how it works. Now, if you want to do some operation on this text area field, you can do that. Text area field dot send keys. Oh, I can type my name into the text area field and we'll run it. Okay, once I'll give you a few more examples of uh, using this Eclipse ID shortcut for uh, creating uh, automatically adding the declaration of this object type, which is written, which is a return type of this method. Okay, I'll take a few more options, few more examples so that it will be more clear for you. Okay, here let's see whether things are working fine or not with auto declaration. So it will open the Chrome browser, maximize the browser, open the application URL in the browser. And uh, yeah, and finally it will type my name into the text area field, guys. Okay, so into the text area field, my name got typed. Okay, it's working fine. So I'll take one more example, guys. I'll re remove this part. Okay, I'll remove this part. Uh, now what I'll do here is uh, I'll be uh, doing something like uh, let's say one more example. I'll take. I want to retrieve all these options of the multi selection box field. Volvo, Swift, Kunda, and Audi. I want to retrieve. I'll inspect this multi selection box field. This multi selection box field has an ID, guys. I'll copy this ID of the multi multi selection box field. I'll simply say driver dot find. Okay, so we'll do one thing. So what I will do is I have to retrieve the options of this multi selection box field, and this is the ID of the multi selection box field. Under that, there are four options. I'll create an X path to locate all these four options, guys. Okay, how to do that? I'll take this ID anyhow, and here select tag is there. I'll say control F double slash select at the rate. At the rate ID is equal to, I copied the ID of that uh, multi selection box field. After copying that ID, you see this is getting highlighted. Under that option, slash option, if I say four options will be selected. 
press a slash option option one option two option three option four four option just press under you see one two three four options are getting selected you see one of four so this volvo swift hyundai and audi options this volvo swift hyundai audi are the you know what type of tags they are they are like uh they are text between the option starting tag and ending tag swift is also text between the option starting tag and ending tag like that and so on okay this xpath expression i'll take which will return four elements one of four elements four options it will return so here i'll write driver dot find instead of find element i'll use find elements guys i say by dot xpath so xpath i have to write properly by dot xpath here i'll provide the xpath expression which will return all the four options of multi selection box field or list box field so over the mouse on the find elements guys what is the uh, what is the return type coming list of web element is coming as a return type here i don't have to manually type uh, list uh, and then less than symbol uh, web element uh, like that i don't have to type guys here simply i say options is equal to i just create a variable now an error will come for the mouse in eclipse id this is a shortcut guys okay instead of typing list of web element for the mouse on options and create local variable you see automatically list of element which is a return type of this find elements is automatically added here that's what i am talking about in this session now i'll complete this program i'll retrieve all these options guys i'll use for each loop for uh, each and every option is a web element option colon options for each loop i am writing here to iterate through all the options of this uh, list of web elements and here i'll say system dot out dot print dln system dot out dot print dln so i'll say option dot get text get text okay option dot get text like this i'll write and all the options of this multi-selection box will be retrieved and printed in the output console i'll quit the browser here so right click run as java application you'll see that all the four options volvo hyundai rd and uh, okay everything will be printed in the output console just see here the program is running the browser has launched maximize it will open the application url it will retrieve all the options volvo shift hyundai and audi and print them in the output console like this okay here this declaration of declaration is automatically added for this uh, variable uh, as a return type of this find elements. Okay, the return type of this method is add, add, automatically added as a declaration of this options. Okay, so using the Eclipse ID shortcut. So few more, a few more examples. We can take any number of examples here, guys. We can take any number of examples. Let's say uh, one more example. I'll take final example, guys. Let's say I want to retrieve the text on these buttons. Okay, I want to retrieve the text on this uh, login button. Let's say inspect this login button uh you see login text is there between the tags so i have to create an xpath expression here button having the uh button actually this is a button having the name as same name but here all these three buttons have the same name so how to overcome this problem so i'll do one thing i'll copy the same name anyhow but button tag is there double slash button i'll type okay at the rate name is equal to i'll give the name also same name here three buttons will be located you see two of three it's coming two of three three buttons one two three one two three okay submit login please step since there are three buttons uh, i'll write down uh these three buttons are under the due tag i can give number guys okay one the first button two if i give second button okay this i'll take as an xpath expression for locating this login button guys you see login button only one of one is coming copy this xpath expression and come back here and say driver dot find element by dot xpath provide the xpath guys okay now put a semicolon put a semicolon over the mouse on find element it uh, return type is web element here i'll say uh, login button right login button i'll say login button is equal to i don't have to auto, uh, manually type the return type of the find element here as web element login button instead of over the mouse on this login button and say create local variable this is a shortcut and apart from that what i will do is i'll say login button dot get text i will say get text okay i want to retrieve the text between the tags of this login button using the get text command this get text command is returning you string string class so here i'll say text on uh, text on login button okay text on login button i'll say is equal to okay the return type of this uh, get text method that is string should be automatically added when i select this create local variable of this variable okay use a string got automatically added i'll print the text again system dot order print dln text on login button and uh, finally i'll quit the browser guys i'll quit the browser so login login text should be printed in the output console okay Log the text on the button that is login text should be printed in the output console now so here we are using the shortcut in eclipse ide uh, to declare a variable as a return type of the method okay in the statement you see login label text got printed in the output console so with this examples guys hope you understood how to use eclipse ide shortcut for adding the return type of a method as a declaration of the variable i gave three selenium examples as part of this session 
तो दैट्स ऑल फॉर दिस सेशन थैंक यू बाय